Moving on to the Republican side of the docket now. Okay, we're going to check in now with Andrew Colgrove, who is, who is in Louisville. And Andrew, that's where the Attorney General, Daniel Cameron, learned that he would be, in fact, facing the incumbent, Andy Bashir, by winning heavily the Republican vote. And Andrew, the State Attorney General, emerged from pretty crowded field. Didn't take long at all for Daniel Cameron supporters here at the Galt House in Louisville to find out this was indeed turning into a victory celebration. Cameron was declared the winner a little more than an hour after the polls closed. The Kentucky Attorney General claiming victory Tuesday night and earning the opportunity to try to unseat Democratic incumbent Andy Bashir in the fall. I am honored to be the Republican nominee for governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Cameron edged out a crowded Republican field that included Kelly Kraft and Ryan Quarles. The governor during this election will try to take credit for things done by a Republican legislature. Cameron spent several minutes of his victory speech criticizing Bashir. Since he has become governor, Kentucky has 27,000 fewer men and women working. Our workforce participation rate is lower than it's ever been. Violent crime runs rampant in our largest cities. So Cameron, now officially the challenger in a race that is sure to get quite a bit of national attention this fall, as people watch to see if a Republican can knock off a popular Democratic governor. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Louisville. All right, thanks, Andrew. Uh, Daniel Cameron thanked the former president, Donald Trump, for his endorsement and said the Trump culture of winning is alive and well in Kentucky.